Hey guys, who are you? What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about UAE? Skyscrapers, shopping malls and exotic cars, right? But not all Emirates are like that. In this video we're going to take a look at Ajman and Sharjah. Let's start with Ajman. It's the smallest of the seven Emirates of the UAE. It's located on the Arabian Gulf of the northern part of the country with an area of just 260 square kilometers. Ajman has a population of 490,000 people, which is up by a lot from 36,000 in 1980. 90% of the population of the Emirate lives in the city of Ajman. I was staying there for a couple days in January before my cruise in the Arabian Gulf. That was just before the pandemic. Today Ajman is a modern city, but it still reflects its traditional charm. Housing is cheaper here than in neighboring Dubai and Sharjah, so many choose to live here and commute to work, which makes the traffic around 5 to 8 p.m. very congested. When it comes to economy, Ajman was not as lucky as the other Emirates. It's the only one with no oil in its territory. The local economy has traditionally relied on fishing and trade. The Dow Yard is one of the most active boat building yards in the country, where they still build traditional Arab sailing ships. Dows. Ajman Port and Ajman Free Zone are two key players in the economic growth of the Emirate. Dubai's rapid development inspired the Ajman government to allow foreigners to buy real estate in 2006 and since then billions of dollars pumped into Ajman's property sector. This brought a real construction boom. If you're curious about the prices, let me give you an example. A one-bedroom apartment in this building starts at $160,000. Most of the migrant foreign workers come from India, Bangladesh and Pakistan. The workers are mostly men, so the gender disproportion is evident. And that creates demand for, well, men get lonely sometimes, you know. I saw lots and lots of these cards scattered on the sidewalks. Ajman is a great place for those looking for a nice winter vacation getaway and those who want to save on hotel costs at the same time while still having access to the entertainment of Dubai. By the way, a trip to Dubai only takes 30 to 40 minutes. There's a nice choice of hotels and the beaches are gorgeous, but the best part is from October to April you can expect the weather to be really nice, blue skies and the temperature in the mid to high 20s, perfect time to be outside and go swimming. But if you want to use the city public beaches, there might be some unwanted spectators, so not everyone feels comfortable sunbathing. And I would just stick to your hotel private beach. I've seen a lot of Russian signs, which means this place is popular with Russians. I'm Russian, and I can confirm that I saw a lot of Russian tourists. Ajman has a number of water treatment plants also known as desalination plants that collect seawater from the Arabian Gulf and produce drinking water. When it comes to sites, you can visit Ajman Fort, which is one of the country's historic landmarks. The fort has been restored and transformed into a museum. It dates back to the 18th century and shows life in different eras. Unfortunately, we were not able to visit it because it was under reconstruction. Ajman Marina it's a really nice place for walks and jogging. There's always a fresh breeze to cool you down. You can come here to enjoy the sunset and maybe do some boating. And the area around Ajman Marina is currently being developed. There's going to be new shopping malls, hotels and restaurants and some fancy houses. Ajman's Corniche is a four kilometer long road going along the beach. It's a popular destination for families and it features a number of fast food outlets, coffee shops and restaurants. Here you'll find Al Muraba Watchtower that was built in the 1930s and Karnish Mosque. Make sure you visit the local fish market and watch the fishermen unload their catches. Let's see what they have to offer. You can buy fresh fish, shrimps, even sharks, whatever you like. But you can't buy beer. In Ajman, alcohol is sold in specialized stores only. Very big. Big, big, very good. This is Varbuda. 
Kingman. This is Kochi Kutti. Kalamari, Kalamari. Kalamari. Hi, wow. See you. See you. You can pick any seafood you like, take it to a place next door, and they will cook it for you in just 10 to 15 minutes. Ajman is not as fancy or clean as you might expect. Sadly, you'll find a lot of trash in many parts of the city. Hey, cat. You'll see fancy hotels and expensive cars staying side by side with this. When it gets ridiculously hot, you might want to get something to drink. How about Karak tea? It's a famous Middle Eastern tea. It's made with black tea, cardamom, and evaporated milk. Okay, we're now going to try the local tea. It's called Karak tea. May I have Karak tea, please? Thank you. Thank you, it's ready. Good. <laughs> Ajman city runs directly into the city of Sharjah, along the coast to the southwest. So let's take a trip to Sharjah. Sharjah is the third largest emirate in the United Arab Emirates with an area of 2,590 square kilometers, which is just 3.3% of the total area of the country. Sharjah is the capital of the emirate of the same name, and it has a population of 1.4 million people. It's located just north of Dubai. Sharjah enjoyed moderate prosperity in the early 20th century boosted by the presence of a Royal Air Force base from the 1930s until 1955. But oil and gas discoveries in 1973 and 1980 brought real prosperity to the region. The Emirate has large desert regions, but it still has some agricultural areas. Expo Center Charger is one of the most popular trade exhibition venues in the region. Over the years, Sharjah has grown into a center of arts and culture. In 2014, it was named the capital of Islamic culture for 2014. The fact that the sale or consumption of alcoholic beverages is prohibited and alcohol is not served in Sharjah hotels, restaurants or other outlets has helped this emirate to increase the number of Islamic tourists. Hello! <laughs> Where are you from? Oh, okay. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> now, what's interesting about Sharjah is it's very strict on alcohol and cigarettes. So you cannot buy or consume alcohol in this emirate. It's an industrial emirate and it contributes 7.4% to the national GDP. But at the same time, it's growing tourism. So a lot of people from different countries come here to have a good time and to have a vacation. And that's what I'm doing with my family. So everybody, welcome to Sharjah. Both Ajman and Sharjah form part of the Dubai Sharjah Ajman metropolitan area. I think both these places have a lot to offer for many tourists. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one.